If you use a program like Visual Lightbox to create um, a, a slideshow or some kind of uh, jQuery or JavaScript uh, engine, um, you'll end up with something like this. So this is my slideshow that I ended up creating by using Visual Lightbox. And it's a simple web page where you can hover over an image, um, click on it, maybe see the image, and then uh, view you know view the left or right or have a little automatic slideshow um, so this is a really kind of common um, gallery tool um, and this is just a kind of a very plain straightforward web page that just has the visual light box um, work uh, on it so uh, what I do is I create a file a separate file from my web page so I just called the slideshow.html and then I copy the code that is being used here um, notice that the entire slideshow is being contained in, you know, v light, in an ID called vLightbox1. So I'm going to go ahead and copy the parts of the code that will be useful for making the lightbox appear on my page. Um, I'll need both the parts that are in the head section and the parts that are in the body section. So I would even take the comment tag. So I would take this whole area from the head section because this is going to link um, the parts of the page that are making the engine run to the style sheets um, or the JavaScript um, you know elements that are that are here. So I'm going to edit copy those elements and on my uh, on my own index page or HTML file anywhere in the head section is fine it doesn't matter where um, I'm going to go ahead and do it right before the close head tag and I'll just command V or edit paste so this is the you know, visual uh, light box portion of the head section. Then I also need the work that's in the body section. So I don't need the body tag itself because I have that on my own page, but I need this div, this whole div. Um, and again, actually, let me go ahead and do that again. I'm going to copy even the comment tag. So it's, it's all there in one div. I'm going to edit, copy, go back to my index page. And in my body, wherever I wanted to see that appear is where I'm going to put it. Now I, I see that I have my nav and I have my header, so I'm going to come down below my header and I'm going to put it inside my first half column. So right when my first half column starts, that's where I'll do Command V, Control V like vector on a PC if I want it to to paste. Um, and then I can paste everything um, into that area. Now I also have to be I'm sure that I have cop actually copied all of the stuff uh, from the one uh, you know area to the other in terms of all of my images. So right now, if I preview this, um, because of the way that I've set my work up, I'm looking inside a folder that does not include the images that I created in my slideshow area. So I have to be very careful about that. I can see that this chapter 11 results folder um, is not the same as chapter 12 folder, right? So um, I would have to go, and I could do this pretty easily, and I need to take in my um, chapter, you know, I could go one way or the other, but I'm going to go ahead and take my um, data and my engine and my images, and I'm going to choose edit copy, and in my chapter 11 results folder, I'll choose edit paste, and I'll take a look back and refresh my web page. And now, because I've copied my actual images into my Chapter 11 results folder, I can see that the light box is, is indeed on my page. And it's appearing right there in that column. Remember, it's just controlled by a div, so it's just basically another element that's added to the left column of the page.